the various towns had developed tobacco warehouses where farmers brought their tobacco and auctioneers sold it. The tobacco auctioneer had a rather musical chant and most people couldn't understand it because he spoke so rapidly. After the Civil War, the volume of tobacco that was going through the marketplace then was such that you had to sell tobacco at a rapid pace. A man named Chiswell Dabney Langhorn from Lynchburg, Virginia, really developed the auctioneer's style. After Langhorn, there were a lot of people, especially in Durham after Washington Duke developed the market, who tried to mimic Langhorn. Nobody could really do that until a man named Lee Aubrey Riggs came along. And he became known as Speed Riggs, and Speed began auctioneering in Durham at Liberty Tobacco Warehouse. And everybody from Speed Riggs' time until today did the same with Speed that was done with Langhorn. They tried to mimic him, they tried to copy Speed's chant. <laughs> George Washington Hill, who was then president of American Tobacco Company, wrote Speed Riggs a letter in, on December 5th, 1937, saying, young man, I like what you got, and I want you to come auction on your hit parade. And from then until electronic advertising of cigarettes was outlawed by the Congress in 1969, effective 1970, Speed was the voice of Lucky Strike. The auctioneers who came in to focus post-World War II are the best tobacco auctioneers who ever were. Bum Bum Leggett, Red Cat McLaughlin, Dancing Jakey Taylor, just to name a few. But Smokey Joe Burnett was, without a doubt, the best tobacco auctioneer who ever lived. He was from Buffalo Springs, Virginia. Joe had a deep, deep bass voice. He was a very tall, good-looking, sandy-haired man. He could walk into a warehouse, and if an auctioneer saw him or anybody recognized him, it, within a matter of a minute or two or three, he'd be on sale. The buyers were like putty in his hand. Everybody loved it. Oh, it was exciting. Oh, in the fall of the year, there were markets all over Danville. Danville was the tobacco capital. Everybody that could go went. It was a big, big day. The farmer was getting money. He hadn't had any in a long time. Children would get clothes, and there's something about the auctioneer's ring that's different from any other auction. There's nothing ever sounds exactly like the tobacco auctioneer.